So I absolutely love VR, right? Like some of my favorite games of all time are on VR. I love playing Gorn, Blade and Sorcery, Pavlov. Those games are all a ton of fun to play and it's all because of VR and the fact that that technology exists, which is just, it's absolutely insane. So for some context, the headset that I have is the Oculus Rift S, which is one of the more popular headsets. A lot of people use it because it was only $400. I'm pretty sure it's down to $300 now, but I think it's also being discontinued, so who knows. But I bought this headset here back in August of 2019. It's what I spent my very first paycheck on, right? This and a copy of Gorn on Steam, and it was a ton of fun to play, right? Unfortunately, that is up until recently. So as of late, my headset has been completely bricked. And the way that happens is because whenever I launch up the Oculus software, it can never detect the fact that my headset is connected via the DisplayPort on my card. Now I know the DisplayPort works, that's what I have my 144Hz monitor attached to, and it's a new RTX 3060, so I know damn well that it works, but the cable or the headset or the software or whatever refuses to detect that the DisplayPort connection is actually functional. So basically, I have a nice $400 paperweight right here because the whole fucking headset is bricked and I can't do anything to fix it because Oculus software can't be rolled back. And even then, if I wanted to buy any kind of replacement parts, like a new cable, for instance, uh, I can't do it. They're all out of stock. And the complete kicker is, ladies and gentlemen, is the fact that uh, the warranty on the Oculus Rift S was only for a year. A $400 headset. And a one-year warranty. And this isn't just a me issue. I've seen hundreds of threads on Reddit and the Oculus forums talking about this exact same DisplayPort issue, how the software and the new drivers have completely bricked their headsets. And this has been going on for months. Months. I've seen threads from seven, eight months ago, and these people still cannot get their headsets working, lest they have to buy a completely new unit, which is absurd, right? Because not only, like I said, it's I think it's $300 now, but they're also being discontinued. These things are going to go out of stock very soon, probably in the next couple of months, and then you're not going to be able to buy any new units anymore, and you're just going to be completely out of a product that you paid $400 for. Like, this thing didn't even make it two years. A $400 product. If my 3060 Ti that I have in my rig only lasts two years, I'm not buying another NVIDIA product for a very long time until they get their QA shit straight, because this is absurd. And you know what? I'll take the L on this one, right? Back when I bought this headset, it's pretty well known that Facebook bought Oculus. I probably should have expected something was gonna go shady like this, because honestly, Facebook is completely incompetent at running Oculus. Now, I wouldn't be making this video if I hadn't taken steps to try to solve the problem. I've contacted Oculus support twice now, uh, both times were completely fruitless, they've basically just given me the runaround, you know, disconnect the cable, disconnect the cable from the headset and the computer, plug it in in this different way, you know, rub your computer three times, you know, give, give it a little kiss, give it a little smack on his power button, you know, you, you'll, you'll be good to go, mate, you'll be good to go. Uh, no, no, absolutely nothing's working. I cannot tell you how many times I've reinstalled the Oculus software at this point, just in the hopes that I could get it working. Again, $400 not even two years old, and is already basically non-functional. Now, I've seen some people on various Reddit threads and Oculus forums threads talking about how, oh, you shouldn't expect too much, it's a $400 product, comparable products like the Vive and the Vive Pro are upwards of $1,000, like the Index and whatnot. But that's complete and utter nonsense, and let me tell you why. To reiterate, this is $400, which, to be fair, is a steal compared to a lot of other VR headsets out there that can run into thousands of dollars, for instance. But that discounted price is because of the lower build quality, the speakers aren't as good, the mic isn't as good, the cable isn't nearly as good as the Vive or the Vive Pro, the software is complete ass, the Oculus software is built like garbage, the headband's a little weird, you know, the, the little the little thing that secures it to your to your head's a little, little wonky sometimes, and the headset can feel a little bit bulky on your face, it's a bit of a larger unit, it's a little lighter than other headsets, but it is still pretty big in mass, and that's the reason you're paying $400 instead of, say, $600 like with the HP Reverb G2. You are getting a lower quality product for a lower price. That's how capitalism works. That makes sense. What doesn't make sense is the absolutely abhorrent quality assurance on these products and the fact that I can't even get any decent support. Now, to be fair, the support reps, you know, they, they were pretty polite, they were pretty respectful and everything, but the advice they were giving just doesn't make any sense. It doesn't help your issue. So I have about 300 hours total of gameplay on this headset, and it was fun while it lasted. I will admit, it is fun. For $400, this was a pretty good buy. But again, between the software being terrible, the support being extremely unhelpful, and relatively straightforward issues like DisplayPort connectivity are completely unexcusable from an Oculus standpoint. This was the company that basically pioneered VR. If you had the CV1 back in the day, you were basically God. This type of nonsense is really inexcusable because Oculus isn't pioneering anything anymore. The HTC Vive has been out for a while, and I've used it. It's a very nice experience. The Vive Pro and the Vive Pro 2 are very legitimate options 
options. And the Reverb G2 is also still really good. Now I've used the Oculus Quest and admittedly it is really cool for a super casual all-in-one VR experience. But in any capacity beyond that, I can't really recommend anything from Oculus anymore. If you want to get into VR, save your money, get either a Valve Index or a Vive Pro 2, or if you don't want to spend that much money, get an HP Reverb G2. It's a very competently made headset, and it's absolute jewelry compared to this. And yeah, overall, I'm just incredibly disappointed. This was a really awesome experience while it worked, but the fact that such simple issues basically bricked my machine and turned it into a $400 paperweight is really disappointing. I'm sad. I'm actually very, very sad because this was awesome while it lasted and the fact that it was only $400 was really neat. But if I had known that this was going to be plagued with software and hardware issues for months until it finally just bricked on me, I would have saved my money and just gotten a Valve Index. Because honestly, the extra $600 is worth it if I can actually get the damn thing to work. Unlike this headset, which just doesn't even work anymore. So in conclusion, don't buy Oculus, honestly. Unless you want just a super casual VR experience, it really isn't worth it. They're not the only player in town anymore. There are more headsets out there that are actually competently manufactured, unlike the Rift S. And the manufacturers actually have decent support systems to help people out with their problems, unlike the excuse of a support system that Oculus has. Yeah, it might cost you a bit of extra money, but it'll definitely last you longer than two years. Oh, and one more thing, with other headsets, you don't have to install Facebook malware to get it to work. So that's always a plus. So yeah, that was just a bit of a rant for you guys. I got a Minecraft video coming out soon, as well as some commentaries coming in the future, I'm sure. But I just had to get this video out. It's a bit of a PSA uh, <laughs> to anyone wanting to buy an Oculus headset, wanting to get into VR. Just save your money, get something better. You'll be glad you did. But that's going to wrap it up for this video, guys. Uh, thank you all for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you want to see more. And comment what videos you guys want me to do next. And one more time for the boys, don't buy Oculus. I'll see you all next time. Peace, guys.